With this lightsaber, I'm going to challenge Obi-Wan Kenobi to a duel and kill Grievous. The only person you are going to kill with that, my young friend, is yourself. The galaxy of Star Wars could be an awfully cruel and dangerous place, especially for children. As much as the story arc involving these six younglings and Ahsoka proves this point, it also demonstrated many fascinating elements regarding the rich lore of Star Wars, meanwhile showcasing an awesome adventure with a multitude of iconic characters. However, what these episodes did absolutely best, especially in the first one called The Gathering, was how the Force was illustrated in new New exciting ways and how the important lessons the children learned along the way affected them. How did he break the ice? Only water made solid was the door. Easy to break if you have the will. The Force, as we have heard many times, works in mysterious ways, but the one thing that is quite certain is its ability of finding every individual's insecurities and fears. The challenge presented by Master Yoda wasn't a classic competition about finding a simple crystal. It was a battle these younglings had to fight from within. They had to embrace their fears, and only then would the prize be there for the taking. The brilliant part was that every child had their own inner problem, and that the most efficient way of overcoming them was to recognize that it even existed, bridging together a crucial point about that every single person in the real world also deals with inner obstacles that they might not even know are there. Lessons you have learned. Find courage. You did. Hope. Patience. Trust. Confidence. And selflessness. There is a sort of magic attached to these episodes. We witnessed the story through the eyes of the children, and that added such an interesting perspective in comparison to how the show usually presents these adventures. Ahsoka's involvement displayed how much she had evolved as a Jedi, but also as a person. The contrast towards these younglings made it even more fascinating because of how we met this young Padawan in the Clone Wars movie. The similarities between the younglings behavior and how the naive Ahsoka acted when she got introduced back in 2008 was quite obvious, and that detail made her calm and collected mental role so much more captivating. So many lightsabers to add to my collection. Her duel with Grievous in the final episode is another detail that argumented for a quick growth. In season 1 she gets totally obliterated in a quite similar situation, yet around 2 years later she held her ground against him. The intro to the gathering illustrated even more information about Ahsoka's past, by showing us Plo Koon's first interaction with her as a baby, something we will see more of in Tales of the Jedi. Jedi. Ahsoka is Jedi. There is so much interesting lore revealed over the course of the first two episodes. The robot named Wang that had helped Jedi create their lightsabers for a very long time was a great addition to the story. It was funny and hinted towards tons of information I wished he would have elaborated on even more. Witnessing how these younglings shows their hilt and the challenge of building their new sabers was a new phenomenon. Sure, we have seen Luke try to assemble his saber in a deleted scene from Return of the Jedi, but this was way more detailed and just straight up cool. The Younglings arc was filled with awesome moments and tons of different characters. I haven't even mentioned Hondo yet, but he was a vital part of this arc. This pirate symbolizes Clone Wars diversity and how different characters can behave depending on the situation. Hondo was a real bad guy in this one, but in other stories seen as someone that helped the Republic in Jedi. That's what I love about the Clone Wars series, its ability to walk the line between good and evil and showcase that characters could be on both sides, and that the answer almost never is a simple yes or no. It's going to be fun to see one of the younglings again, Gunji, in Bad Batch Season 2. I wonder if more of the kids survive. I guess we will just have to wait and see. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what I create, please press the like button and subscribe, but most importantly, may the force be with you.